Hey everyone, this is Vishal. You're watching MacTella. Let's get started with another video. In this video, I'm going to explain you how to download Windows 10 and install it on a parallel desktop. Now, for that, we need Windows 10 ISO file, which we can download it from Microsoft official website. So I'm just writing on Google Windows 10 download, and the first link which appears here is download Windows 10 disk image ISO file. Now I'm just clicking on it. Here I need to select the edition of Windows. I'll go here with Windows 10 and then confirm this one. Then I will select this language and then again confirm. I need to select the architecture of this Windows. I will go here with 64 bit. As you can see, the download is started and the download is completed. I will minimize the Chrome browser here and I will open Pal Desktop. So this is the user interface of Parallel Desktop where it is saying that you can download free system software and you can run like just like Windows on Mac. But I will go here and select this Windows image file and then continue. As you can see, the Windows image file is detected automatically and is searching for other installs and images. And then continue. If you have Windows license key, you may enter here. In my case, I don't have. I will uncheck this one and then continue. You need to select the primary use of Windows. In my case, I will go with design because I have uses of CAD software and graphic editing programs. In your case, it may differ. So this is default name and location where file is going to save. I can edit it, but for the moment I will go with default one. So create. So you can see the file is created here. Here I need to select the version of Windows. I am going here with Windows 10 Pro. So this is Windows 10 Pro and then next. So this is the first impression of Windows on parallel desktop running on Mac. Uh, you can see this installation is complete and click here to continue. If I click here, it will maximize the windows, but you can switch between Mac. This is Mac, this is Windows, Mac, Windows. The purpose of showing this was you can install several operating system and you can switch between those operating system seamlessly. If I install any software on any of the operating system, it will give me a shortcut on Mac. If I open that shortcut on Mac, it will first deploy parallel desktop then the operating system and then the software and this process is not time taking before further going into the video hit like and subscribe button to my channel also comment your doubt in the comment section i will try to make a dedicated video on it or else you can join on telegram community to clear your doubts uh, so it is very important you understand the virtual partition in the parallel desktop uh, because uh, you may have doubt regarding it in the further video as you can see this is of 256 of gigs of ssd but this is not true because uh, my ssd is actually of 128 gigs installed in this mac and it's showing 256 so uh, quickly let me show you the preferences and other important settings So this was the preferences and this is the preference settings. You can change the preference as per your preference as the word suggests. But uh, I'm not going to explain the entire setting of uh, these preferences in this video. If you want a dedicated video on it, you can comment in the comment section. Uh, I will make a dedicated video on it regarding the details of these preferences. Like in the general section, 
you can find uh, different general preferences because the layout of uh, Mac is different from layout of Windows so you can change those layout as per your requirement and you can use it and every preferences in the different opening system are different and uh, let me show you the other important uh, part of this parallel desktop so this is control center here you can uh, control the options hardware and security now here we can customize the ssd partition uh, now you can see that ram is of 4 gigs given and you can uh, go up to 8 gigs and two cores of chipset but uh, you can change it um, but i will not suggest you to change because these are recommended so here you need to understand the virtual partition of ssd here it is given 256 gigs of partition which is not true so you can decrease you can increase and it will limit the file size of your windows and uh, in the further upcoming videos i will explain you how to use these settings in a practical way uh, for now i will go with 256 gigs and i will close this one so by clicking on top right plus sign you can add more opening system uh, let me quickly show you how to get your original uh, windows 10 file so click on this shortcut and then show original so this is your original windows 10 file and you can copy it to your external drive and you can take it with you and then you can just attach your external drive and you can just double click on it and it will open like uh, windows like this 